Welcome back to Retro Game Geek. Today I'm going to be reviewing this package from China, Kerrygold Original. I must uh, qualify this by saying this was sent to me for review, but I will try not to let that taint my opinion for this handheld. So we can see this measures across at 4 inches, down at 3 inches, with a diagonal of 4.5 inches. And I must also show, I have another model, the Kerrygold Clamshell CRT Edition, as you can see by the beautiful shape it has here. Although I have to admit, this model, I was sad to see that the clamshell appears to be broken, where it just pops right off. It's all this cheap Chinese handheld stuff, you know. But, uh, I mean, it's a gorgeous screen, I'd say, especially for a CRT. It's really just amazing they were able to fit a CRT into such a small form factor. Five inches going across. Three and a half inches this direction. And a diagonal of five and a half inches, which puts it the same size as the uh, switch light screen. Now you might find it strange to use a kitchen scale to weigh handhelds, but bear with me. You can see this comes in at uh, 251 grams, and the CRT clamshell edition comes in at 273 grams. Now you can see on the packaging, it says 250 grams for this model, and the clamshell model also has 250 grams. So it seems like they're a bit uh, embellishing the truth here, because it actually weighs more than it has in the packaging. So, and you'll also notice this is the uh, German edition. So this was made specifically for Germany. And the amazing thing is this handheld, you can just order directly. I ordered it straight from a service here called Gorillas in Berlin, and it actually arrived at my apartment in 13 minutes. So I am really impressed. I don't know of any other handheld that can deliver that kind of speed. I wanna see how this compares to the American editions. For that, I invite cookbook author, Russ Crandall here to um, also weigh in on his thoughts on the Kerrygold handhelds. Hey everyone, this is Russ from Retro Butter Core. Let's do a quick test of some Kerrygold butter. As you can see, this one is 8 ounces altogether, 227 grams unsalted. It has a diagonal screen size of just under 5 inches altogether. And the width of the device, as you can see, is a little over 4 inches. Now, let's compare that against two sticks of salted pure Irish butter. You got about 5.5 inches of diagonal length and just under 5 inches across. All told, there's about a half inch difference between the two. Now, these each have 227 grams of liquid gold inside. But there's more than meets the eye. The unsalted version is actually 228 grams because of the foil wrap. But the salted butter is a whopping 239 grams. That's a lot of packaging here. So which of these two is the better butter? The unsalted one has less packaging, but I can't overstate the convenience of having two separated sticks of butter like in the salted version. That being said, you have more butter per pound with the unsalted one because it's not being weighed down by any sort of added salt. So which do I recommend? It's really going to be up to you, but I think I'm going to go with the unsalted one. We'll see you next time. Happy cooking. Now I want to get back to Germany. We'll do a size comparison with other handhelds here. And you'll see here we have the Nintendo Game & Watch, just so thin compared to these models. You get a feel of just how big this is. And the RG350, of course. You can see it's about the same size as the uh, CRT clamshell edition, but it's uh, much larger than the original HD edition, as you can see here. And we'll obviously also need to compare it to more modern handhelds. So we'll have the Nintendo Switch right here. And you'll see this is just dwarfing the Nintendo Switch. It's so tiny. And you'll see the in interesting this um, practically 4-3 aspect ratio here uh, with the uh, black bars of content on the side if you were to if you were to just display this on the screen for example um, and you can see this one as well this is pretty much the same height as the switch although this end is much um, 
taller, as you can see. Okay. Now let's compare this to the Steam Deck. Now this is a modified Steam Deck. I modified this to run iPad OS, but you can see the Steam Deck is just huge in comparison to these handhelds. Like, <laughs> you can stick this right in the middle here like this, and there's still plenty of space all around it. It's incredible just how big the Steam Deck is. And as you see, I also did some hardware modifications to remove the touch pads on the side. But I have to say, this runs iPadOS really well. And unfortunately, I can't legally show you where you can find this uh, um, hardware hack, but I'm sure you can do some Google searching and I'm sure you'll find see, it. See, I'm of course running Butter Royale. That was the whole reason I hacked my Steam Deck. Because Butter Royale was actually the only Butter video game I could find. And I have uh, yet to play it, but I wish you would say in the comments what you think of your experience with this game. I mean, I think I might be a bit too old for the demographic of this game, but uh, I'll probably give it a shot later. Of course, I have one more handheld to look at. We have the AYN Odin. And you'll see here how this lines up. And uh, this is much taller than the clamshell edition. But uh, one of the neatest things about this is it has so much streaming tech, the like cloud gaming with it, is that you can actually stream, as you're seeing here, this handheld, which I would never have believed would work this way, right to the AYN Odin. Although I'm seeing some strange artifacts here, as this doesn't seem to match up exactly in the right corner, and I'm not sure what's going on there. But um, hey, if you know, maybe you could leave a comment. I'll try to fix this issue. Maybe there's some driver issues, I'm not sure. But uh, I mean, I just got these handhelds, so I'm not really sure exactly how they work. I'm hoping that um, Retro Game Core can make a guide on how to best optimize these. But I couldn't get a hold of them, unfortunately. But um, hey, if you have his contact information, let me know. All right, let's look at some accessories. As we know, um, your hands can get tired playing um, playing handhelds. So let's put this right in here like this. This is the uh, X9, or the X, this is the X10 handheld grip controller. I'll have a link in the description. All right, and then just kind of clamp down, and now you, you're playing with power. So in this way, your hands will thank you. It's not quite getting in there quite right. Maybe I need to get a thicker grip, but I'm quite pleased with it when I tried it earlier. You know how it is when things are on camera, they just don't go quite like you want. And this one I wouldn't recommend, it's a bit too chonky. To stick this in there. It's, a, it's not bad, but you can see these just these clamps. Well, it's not too bad. Actually, it's a really good fit. I think uh, maybe with the um, clamshell off. Let's see. Yes, that's a much better fit actually. So if you remove the clamshell, as you should when you're playing with this handheld, then um, this fits quite well. I recommend it. Uh, one more accessory if you want a display case, like for the analog pocket. I can recommend this one here. Um, you see, I've um, removed the outer shell of this. It's a, this is this handheld here. I've got a second copy that I removed for um, hacking. And you can just see there how it looks. I'd highly recommend this, actually. It's a plastic, but um, it's good. Unfortunately, it does leave butter prints on the side. So if that bothers you, then maybe this case is not for you. But um, all in all, I'm quite happy with it. But um, I'm curious, is this a case you would get to display your carry gold handheld? Let me know in the comments. Now I'd like to go over a new segment called Pros and Cons. It has great ergonomics, just feels really great in the hand. It's a perfect form factor and uh, material. It has a bit of a squishy feel, at least for the um, original HD version. Oh, 
the um, CRT clamshell version also has a good feel, even though it's a bit uh, harder. Obviously, you get buttery smooth performance, as um, it's almost like they put butter inside. It's just crazy. It's perfect for cheese sauce. You just stick some at the bottom of a pot, and along with some cheese and some milk and flour, and you've got cheese sauce. No need to charge. The screen has always stayed on for me. It has just been on all the time. So I've been quite happy with that. It's a good alternative to oil. So if you uh, are lacking oil in your gaming habits, you can just use butter instead. And it melts at high temperatures, so if you find that useful for you, then um, I'd say go for it. Unfortunately, I also have to get to the cons. So, con is that, uh, well, it melts at high temperatures. So there is no fan built in, unfortunately. If you do run it hot, it actually literally melts, which can really be uh, a damper on your uh, gaming. It's not vegan. This actually has cow parts inside, which is pretty crazy for a handheld, I know. But if that's something that concerns you, you may want to stay away. Lack of ports. So they're trying to go like Apple and remove ports. But, I mean, there's just no way to charge it except wirelessly, which I'm not sure I'm a fan of. But if you have wireless chargers at home, you're probably good to go. Unfortunately, I couldn't power this on um, lack of buttons is also an issue, so I tried uh, powering it on, and it just stays on the same screen. Sort of like an e-reader. Now, it's also interesting that they went with the decision to go without backlight for both these devices. So you will need an external light, sort of like a Game Boy or Game Boy Color, or Game Boy Advance back in the day. But if that's not an issue for you, then I could recommend this. It can't emulate GameCube, which is really unfortunate, as, um... Other more powerful devices these days, oh, I forget the name of them or what they look like, but um, so the newer handhelds now do emulate GameCube. So if that's important for you, well, you know what to do. And unfortunately, it does not have analog triggers, which would be really good if you want to play racing games on this, uh, especially for cloud gaming with Xbox Cloud or Stadia. So, if you like this, I recommend like and subscribe if you want more Butter Handheld content. And if you can support the channel, I would appreciate you signing on as a patron on patreon.com slash rggeek. Thanks for watching, and hopefully you'll let me know if you've been playing on your Carry Gold handheld in the comments. All right. Have a good one and bon appetit.